Hey guys, welcome to the new video on XGBoost 2.0 where we will understand new features of XGBoost. Okay, in this video, we will learn about multi target trees, device parameter, third approx method on GPU, fourth max cache it is not, fifth quantile regression, sixth learning to rank, and seventh improve external memory, eighth federation learning support, and PySpark support. So, those are the features that XGBoost have it now on our 2.0 so firstly we have it as a multi-target trees there now this feature is very helpful where we have multi-target recreation where we have multi-label classification where we have multi-class classification so in our previous approach what we were doing we create each model or a separate model for each target right and then we combine them so here you don't need to do that whole process Exibus 2.0 is there to construct a single tree for all the targets okay and it includes a prevention on overfitting small model size and correlations between the targets so it will help you in reducing the size of the model it will help you in correlation between the targets and it will help you in overfitting also a wise parameter okay so and in previous video previous when you used it exposed right there you saw that you need to select gpu id gpu haste gpu predictors cpu predictor right and then you will able to use gpu now they have it as a single parameter that is device and you can directly use it like cpu gpu okay directly by using the device same as what we do it on the PyTorch, right? We set up a device and then we use that device parameter everywhere. Same way you can use it now here on a XGBoost. Third, we have it as an approx method on GPU to run the trees on GPU. Okay, how you can do that? Simple. Use device parameter as CUDA and tree method as approx. Fourth, we have it as a feature called max cast is not so that is used to optimize your memory and how much size you more you want it to be a cache on on your cpu you know it will help you in the memory size of the cpu side okay and like it's a cache so same you know about what is cache so it's a parameter that will help you to set up how much cache you want it okay for fifth we have it as a quantile regression which involves minimizing the quantile losses Sixth, we have it as a learning to rank it's commonly used to search systems okay and or a news feed like you saw it on a facebook twitter right so it's good for searching systems seventh they have it in an improvement on an external memory okay so external memory fun we talked about the cache right same way they have it in external memory and a disk rest training man meaning lower cpu footprint so what it means that when you train the model there are a lot of footprints that are back on the model when you train it right so it helps you in improving that so that your memory issue that you face when you train any big model on a big data set that will be reduced so it helps you in an external memory. At federation learning, new post support for a vertical federation or training model collaboratively without sharing the data. You don't need to share the data. That will be automatically done, okay, by using the federation learning support. Ninth, I have it a very good that as bias block support now on XGPost. So I hope you liked it and thank you for watching.